that we've finished the two steps, one drawing the poppy flower, the second step was outlining it with markers. On the third day, third step, we are going to watercolor it. So as you can see, I took out my watercolor set, have a jar of paint brushes with clean water. I know it doesn't look clean, but it is. Um, if you don't have watercolors, you obviously can use certain materials like crayons or even just markers. Watercolors work the best because when I look at George O'Keefe's work, there's this nice range of color blending from the reds to the oranges. And watercolors work well because in some of the petals, I'm going to show you how we can have those colors like red and orange bleed together. Okay, let's get started. So I'm dipping my brush in the jar of water. I will pick this orange. As I paint, I'm just looking at Georgia O'Keeffe's example. And just, not quickly, but at a faster pace, just finding the spots that have that orange tint. I see some yellow too. Notice I'm not even using paint strokes. I'm almost just quick dabs, quick dabs to the paper. Then I need to find a red that's good. Let me use this, sorry. I'll add a little bit of water and Notice when I start adding this color with the orange that I placed first, like I said, it bleeds together. It blends together is another way of saying it. If you put too much color on your paintbrush, you can just spread it out make sure you don't have puddles where your project is dripping all over the place. I finished painting the flower. I know when I look at Georgia O'Keeffe's original painting, her background's white, so we could leave it white. But you know me, I like color. I'm gonna pick a color other than white and other than this pinkish red or orange to make the flower stand out even more. So I have decided I will pick this yellow. Hopefully this yellow is bright enough. And if it's not, it's all right. It's like a lime yellow.
I think it looks good. Now that you're done, last thing you should do is make sure to sign your name in the corner. Hopefully this area is dry. Let me use a sharpie. Hopefully this corner is dry. So I'm writing Mr. Bologna. Oh, it's still wet. It's all right. There you go. This is my interpretation of Georgia O'Keeffe's painting, Red Poppy. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for following along. And I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye.